We're here with Sean Ware from the University of New Hampshire. Sean, welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thank you. Now, New Hampshire's always been known for its uh, explosive offense, but uh, you guys got eight starters back on defense, and talk about that, how that unit's going to play this season. Um, it's a it's a good feeling, you know. It's a comfort comfort feeling, you know, to to have that many guys coming back on defense, uh, especially coming off the season we had last year. Where we like to build off of that, of course. Um, we, we feel we have a lot of leaders that are gonna put us in the right position to uh, to be successful again, to bring a, along the younger guys that have to step in and, and fill those uh, spots. Yeah. Now, do you, if you feel like. Uh Maybe the defense is going to take over more of the leadership role than the offense, and uh, and how as a as a veteran guy are, are you going to be a part of that? Well, I mean, a, a lot of people have been asking me that, and, and I don't see it changing much. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, the offense is going to do their part, and we're going to do our part. We don't try to discriminate on uh, who who carries the load. You know what I mean? If you know, a few years ago it was kind of clear that the offense was was clearly dominant, right. but now that it's balanced out, we just like to feed off each other and. Uh, you know, that's how, that's how we get our energy yeah. each Saturday. Now, you, you unfortunately missed the whole 2007 season with a knee injury. How's your knee doing now, and uh, what was the year away from football like for you? Well, the knee's doing great right now. I mean, I know a lot of people say that, but I mean it when I say it. The knee's doing great. Um, being away from the, the whole season in 2007 was really tough for me. Just watching, I wanted to be out there so bad with my teammates, you know, seeing them out there, just having a blast, and, and, and it really, but but it was a good it was a good thing in a way because I got to sit back and, and, and really learn the game because I really wasn't familiar with a lot of the you know football terminologies because I've only been playing football since my freshman year in high school which a lot of kids have been playing their whole life so I was still kind of picking up on everything but you know it, it gave me an opportunity to sit back and see the game from a different perspective and uh, be able to be a leader in a different way so where I came back in 2008 I was able to build off that and my guys were supportive of me and you know they kept me they kept me along I mean if it wasn't for them I would have been struggling yeah now you play at the linebacker spot what's your favorite part is it is it the hidden part do you like to be able to be able to blitz once in a while get to that quarterback what's your favorite part well um but I like the fact that uh, I like to think that I'm a little faster than uh, than, than uh, most linebackers. I'm coming from safety, you know. It was uh, it was a big transition. I like I, I must say I like I like hitting obviously hitting more than being hit is is always a good thing. But um, I mean just the whole. Just the whole feel of, of being out there, you feel, you know, you're the center of the defense and you really control what goes on out there and everybody else feeds off of what you do, so that's a, that's a good feeling to have. Now you're from uh, Bristol, Connecticut, yeah. okay, you ever had a chance to go up to the ESPN studios or any doing that? I have not been inside them, but I've uh, been around the building, I mean, it's like about five minutes away from my house, so. Is that the, you get a lot of questions, is that the thing uh, when people say, hey, I'm from Bristol, is, is yeah, ESPN that's, kind yeah, of that's the first the only thing, thing that comes to mind? <laughs> that's the only thing we got in Bristol. All right, Sean, thanks for your time today and uh, we hope you enjoy Media Day. All right, thank, thank you. you.